Here's a second attempt how to intertwine text here in Illustrator. For the text, I'm gonna go with Gazetta Slanted Bold Italic. And I'm gonna right click on the text, create outlines. And now I'm gonna need to figure out how to create those waves perfectly on these letters. So what I'm gonna do is press Ctrl R. So here you can see the ruler. I'm gonna drag and drop one of these lines here. And I'm gonna select the text and I'm gonna rotate it. So you can see the corners of the text, the left bottom corner and the right top corner is basically somewhere around where the line is. And let's swap it from fill to stroke. Click on the stroke so it's gonna be on the top. And I'm gonna select this line tool. And I'm gonna press and hold shift and create a line, something like this. Let's select the line. I also gonna recolor it, increase the stroke a little bit. And I'm gonna go to the effect, distort and transform and select zigzag. I'm gonna select smooth and I'm gonna increase the size quite a bit. And I'm gonna increase the ridges per segment also. Click OK. And I'm gonna go to the object, expand appearance. And I'm also gonna stretch it all the way out above the letter P and below the letter R. And I'm gonna select the direct selection tool, select a couple of parts here that I don't need and remove it. And now I'm gonna need to bring these waves next to the text because they are like too tall. So I'm gonna select it from here and I'm gonna press the down arrow and press and hold shift and press the down arrow and it's gonna bring it down. And I'm gonna select these four, do the same thing, press and hold shift, press the down arrow and repeat the steps. There you go. Let's do it again and the last one and do the same thing with the opposite, with the bottom side. There it is. Now I'm gonna drag another ruler and I'm gonna go and select text and rotate it back. Now I'm gonna select the stroke line, increase the stroke thickness, and I'm gonna switch up the colors. Let's go to the swatches and I'm going to add some gradients. I'm going to select one of the greens, press and hold control, select the blue, and then select another color. So now we got three colors and I'm gonna drag and drop into the gradients. And check this out, this is going to bring in the colors and distribute the color sliders equally. Now I'm also gonna need to create some shading, so I'm gonna select the text and I'm gonna click on the fill, so it's gonna be on the top. Let's go to the swatches, I'm gonna make it lighter and I'm gonna select the stroke. Let's go to the object, expand appearance and I'm gonna do it again because it's still stroke, object, expand, click OK. And I'm gonna press and hold Alt and drag it to the left. This is going to duplicate it and I'm gonna switch up the color to black. And let's go to the vector shape, right click, arrange, send backward. So this way we're gonna create the shading, something like this. And because of that, we're gonna to need to duplicate the text, press Control C and then Control F. So this way it's gonna create another duplicate, a right click on the text, arrange, bring to front. And let's go to the object. Let's go to compound path and click on make. Now this shape is invisible, so I'm gonna add a color on it and I'm gonna press and hold shift and select the shading as well, a right click and click on make clipping mask. And again, I'm gonna select the colorful wave, right click, arrange, bring to front. And that's how we're gonna get the shading on the text. Now I'm gonna go select the shading, press and hold shift, select the waves as well, a right click group. And now let's go and select all the shapes, go to the object, Let's go to intertwine and click on make. And now we can go on one of these shapes and click on it and it is going to intertwine automatically one by one. So I'm gonna go and have some fun here and speed up the process. And that's how intertwine this text in Illustrator like a pro. Thanks for watching. <laughs>